Howdy, y'all. You're around the wheel? No, wait. No. Me. I'm around the wheel. I'm around the wheel, and you're watching Trottlers. And today we are starting with more fun, which is, coincidentally, the name of my local game store. Shout out to More Fun Comics and Games. But looks like we're going to be fetching 20 red gems from 30 lethal foes. Uh, we could be dropping rocks on their head in a certain way, perhaps. Uh, or we could just be going around collecting the gems. So we have two minutes to do it. So I gather we need to be kind of quick. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, no foes yet, but uh, we seem to be... Oh, there they are. So if we get started on a real quick... There we go, yeah. Get started on a real quick elimination spree. That's... Uh, that's that many fewer that can uh, get us, but that was not... I. It is pretty obvious I'm going to have to take my blocks with me. Um, well, while we're at it... Uh, oops. I took quite a bit on the chin there, and... That was a disaster and a half. Oh my gosh. Well, yep, I have to do the block jump, which is rather unfortunate, because see how it's eating my inputs there? That's not very fun or fair. Um, maybe they're implying that another level would be more fun to complete. But yeah, you don't have much time to do this at all. I've already wasted a minute of my precious time. But you have to, yeah, you have to take the blocks with you. And I'm not going to do it doing that and I'm so far down that I can't even get this one so I don't I don't see much point going on with that one I'm gonna have to be really fast to complete this level fast and precise with a maneuver that the game likes eating two times out of three so all right well let's give it a shot I suppose all right easier to make the jump from here why did you jump straight up what is your deal okay a few of them came after me there okay why don't you just die okay that'll do for now I suppose Oh my god, but that's not going to do at all. So, like, you kind of want to take some time to eliminate them, but they're so close together that some are going to slip through the cracks inevitably because it's really hard to terminate them using that method. Um, maybe I would just be better served ignoring them, but I feel like also no, because maybe I can divert their path with the blocks at certain points. Let's give this one more, like, real try. I haven't even gotten, like, a quarter of the gems in the level yet. That's that's pretty distressing. So you just got to move with speed and precision. As usual with these late game levels, you have to know what you're doing and you have to do it. See, why am I just jumping straight up? Why is it... You, you got to be in exactly the right spot. See, they're just... Wow, that was so many that I died right there on the spot. So yeah, it doesn't really do to terminate them on sight either. Like... Yeah, I feel like you have to focus on it to some extent, but that's just... Ugh, this is not... Just like the, the level yesterday was not rather hard, this one is not more fun. Alright, let's go ahead and do this for now. So that they go off in some other direction. That'll give them time to mess around while I... Yeah, maybe it's just better to avoid them. Ugh, God! This is so terrible. Why? This is just... Oh my God. This is not going to be fun at all. This is so frustrating that I briefly considered playing with the controller. But... I'm even worse with that, apparently, than I am with the mouse. I'm just going to call that a lack of practice, though. No, not you. Oh, my God. Why are you Why are you snapping to him? Oh, my God. It's frustrating me. God, this is so bad. Yeah, there's too many. They're too close to me to be able to do that. Why are you not jumping up there? 
What? Have you just decided to, like, take all leave of your senses all of a sudden? This is... When I say... I'm not even doing this, like, the hard way. I'm not even trying to jump... Take this block and jump here. I'm trying... I'm All I'm doing... Is doing this and this... And why? Why? Why is it not doing it? Oh my god. Okay. And yeah, I end up with a minute left and still 15 gems to pick up. Yeah, whoever named this more fun was clearly being sarcastic. Like, I can't even... I can't even get the game to think this is... A, finally. Jeez. And then now I have to do this? You really think... See, and then you drop to here. Which means I have to do this. If I want to stand a chance of getting my stuff back. No, it's just... Oh my god. What a terribly named level. Like, honestly. Well, that's the best I've done so far right there. Let's go ahead and let them pass by. I think I could take a few seconds to do that. Really, anything that keeps them out of my hair is the way to go. It is the way to fly, in my opinion. Now, if I can just get out of here without it snapping to a resting position immediately. Oh, God. And I can't pick that up, so I'm stuck here. Great. Alright, so now we can come out of here. Alright, let's take that, and we can go here. Alright, so once again, we want to do whatever we can to kind of... We've only got a minute left. That's... Boy, getting up in there is not great positioning. But we just have to protect ourselves wherever we can here. I think... I think the step up is going to be the best solution here. So just take this. This is only two jumps, and yet the game cannot handle it, of course. I don't understand. What is the what is the logic behind eating the jump? I don't... Why does it decide to do it sometimes and not others? Okay, I get it that time because I was too high up. But you have to get in the right position very quickly. This is... No, this is unacceptable. This is terrible. Just, yeah, eat my eat my skin and hair, please. I welcome death at this point. Okay, we're finally in this side. So, let's see. We can just take what we want, but we still have to do the hoppy jump. How about not taking a freaking nap when I click the controller, you stupid... Oh, my God. Yeah, but I am... Well, no, I'm kind of still okay here. Um, any way I can kind of divert traffic? Well, I can just jump here. 24 seconds, maybe I can do this, but I have to wait for them to clear out. So, here we go. Alright, another chance to recover. I'm about to put a fist through a monitor, I swear. Alright, let's wait for them to come through here. I think I may be able to do the rest of this with one block. I think from this point, yeah, I'm pretty safe. Safe from here as long as I can, yeah, everything is set up so I can make legal jumps with one block. So, it's just getting through that first half, but my god, what a pain. Okay, can I get to here from here? I can, and I can just get the gyps. Holy cow, thank the lord that is behind us. That is easily the worst level in the game so far. That was more fun. More fun, my ass. That was less fun than having leeches draw your blood. Next level, spin round. It can only go up from here, I imagine. Spin us right round like a toddler baby. Do it, please. Spin around. Rescue them all. And all equals 22 in this case. So what are we going to be up to here? Oh, we have spinning saw blades. It's a Sawblod Sawdod, so, but they're safe for now, it looks like. Uh, let's experiment. Let's do a little bit of experimentation first. Let's see if they can cut through blocks. They cannot. They will just bounce right off of them. Um, and some of them are going a certain way, but I have to rescue them all. Oh, they're not even saw blades. They just trip them up. They just make them fall. That's interesting. Oh, but they hurt me, so naturally. 
Okay, somebody got hurt just then. That was a fatal fall. But that's interesting. I really genuinely thought those would cut the Trottlers into little pieces. But the only person they cut up into little pieces is me. So we just have to find a way around them that keeps them from running into those. And I was given enough blocks that that should be pretty simple. I just realized these things are not saw blades at all. They are just... They are just the, uh... They're just the things from the title screen. The thing in the bottom corner. That, like, Shumagorath type deal. I'm gonna make this pretty easy on myself. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay a layer down here. So that, you know, even if they are dropped by the... By the blade. All I have to do is stay out of the way of the blade now. Uh... I just have to keep myself alive, but they'll just drop to the floor and they'll just keep on walking where they're supposed to. Uh, this keeps them from suffering a fatal fall of any kind. And you know what? Let's even give myself some uh, some extra health while we're well. Some of them some of them decided to stop dropping and walk around the other way. That's a little bit unfortunate, but as long as nobody takes a fatal plunge, then I'm more or less okay with it. Okay, some of them are, yeah, some of them are walking around the other way here. Okay, so let's go ahead and have them walk around the way somewhat. Okay, let's let you in if you come in. Yeah. Anybody can kind of just come in if they want. Uh, no, you need to stay out. Okay, yeah. Some of them are walking around in odd ways and not actually making it to the exit, which is distressing so I think I actually need to okay this is not quite as easy as intended but I don't want to kill anybody everybody has to make it in the end so let's go ahead and yeah again once again uh, a little bit of hurt oh hey now he's coming down here for some reason why why is that a thing okay well if they just keep tripping and tripping and tripping then things are going to get pretty rocky here eventually. Okay, we don't want you going up that high and falling. Yeah, and then one fell from the ceiling. Okay, so we got to figure out a way to get them in that kind of ensures that they will go. I think I did it mostly right, but I just want to... I think I made a mistake by... No, let's go over here. Wow, that was a heck of a... Heck of a jump there. Okay. Yeah, let's let you pass. And then I think I really only made one mistake, which was leaving something here. Okay, yeah. So that's going to go down into here. Um, I think it's going to come down this way. And yeah, some people are going to drop to the bottom here, which is not ideal. Okay, so... Okay, and if we do this in such a bad way, eventually somebody is going to get knocked up from a really high height or knocked down from a really high height. Phrasing, Jess. Uh, think before you speak. Um, maybe the idea is to trap these things a little better. Because, yeah, some, some folks here are not doing so great. Uh, some got into an exit at the bottom. That... That works for me. And uh, let's go ahead and let you in there. Okay, yeah, it ended up kind of working itself out by accident. Okay. that's I like a level that has a high margin for error like that. Pretty sloppy, but, you know, we, we did it just fine in the end. So, let's move on. Lit Tit is the next level, according to the password. I'm just reading what the password says. Don't yell at me. Let it out. Uh, seven have to be rescued out of ten, and we have to fetch two blue gems in the meantime. That usually means we have to kill an enemy like a bird or a flame of some kind. Ah, yeah, see? Uh, but I have no blocks, except for one. Alright, so, if I take this... Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to represent a danger state somehow. Okay. More of this... Oh my god, why are you... More of this, huh? Okay, so a couple a couple of them died, or one died, but that's okay. Okay, as long as they don't fall from too high up. Okay. Oh my gosh. The clicking is really 
getting a little bit aggravated here. Let's see if I can't. Too many died. So, so yeah. Once you let the once you let the saw blade out, you don't have much time to act. Um, do they start coming out immediately? Maybe the best thing to do is just get this going automatically. Faster we, faster we kill the flame the better. I'm trying to walk right here is what I'm trying to do. I thought the rock put out the flame. Oh, well, hold up. I only have to get two blue gems, so this doesn't have to be very scientific. Okay, we'll just push it into it. It will eventually die, correct? There we go. One, two. So, now... I think there may be a way to kill this thing. Well, okay, it's just kind of right there. No! Okay, that's bad. Okay, what I'm trying to do, there we go, is just get up. That thing being stuck right there, actually probably... Well, it's not a net good per se, because they have no way of... Okay. Okay, so what happens then is... They have no way of getting up to the exit because I can't I only have one block so if they get knocked down in a way that is not that doesn't keep them up here they have to get knocked down up here by mr. sawblade so I've got to find the right time honestly and I don't think I can do this with just one rock um, can I take this? This is just a block, but... It, hey, it is a block! It's a different kind of block, though. Is it not? Let's see what this does. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna put you here. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna see what happens. This looks like a springboard to me. Wait, is it a springboard for me? Well, what does it do? Well, it's definitely a it's definitely a takeable block, which I mean that is good for us to some extent. No, sure, cut him down to size. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, just just make sure. I don't know how to get them back. Well, I know that I can take this now, but I feel like this block should do something. Um, let's try putting it here. Does it, does it interact with anything in any way? It just looks to me like a block that I can grab, which I just did that out of pure desperation. I don't actually know. I don't actually know what I'm able to do with it other than, well, okay, I do have two blocks here, but this is probably too little too late. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely... This is definitely too little too late. I could have gotten them in by doing something like this. But now that I know I can take both of these things, I have more of an idea of what I should be doing. I, I wish I could luck out and get this going again. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm just going to have to let time run out on this one. And just... I mean, I know how to beat it now, but... Okay, how did I get to that one? Oh yeah, I had to go to the other one first. So, let's go ahead and take this oh hey i ended up destroying the thing that is you know what we'll take it uh so that threat is gone now all i have to do is grab blocks and take them like so and i have a lot more time to do it this time i have a lot more time and i have a lot more health and a good wizard's apprentice is healthy wealthy and wise okay so now we have three three that we can take from here and I just need to do one more jump one more successful jump there we go that ought to that ought to get the pattern down so there it is okay that one wasn't too bad uh that officially puts us now three quarters of the way through the game so we are in we are in something resembling a home stretch I would say I like, I do like, one thing I like is Hocus's platforming range, if you need to make a jump. He is a little more agile than you would expect a protagonist of a game like this to be. But, there we go. We got him in. However you get him in and satisfy the level goal is good enough. 
It's good enough for me. And next time is little no no not little um all all bait that's bait <laughs>